Hey everyone, welcome to my garden. This video is a garden tour slash talk about things I intended to do in November but didn't get to. Uh, so here we are. <laughs> um, typically fall is the season for a lot of garden cleanup cutting back perennials, clearing out garden beds. Um, but n this fall for us was very hectic. We had a lot going on. Um, our mower broke down, which is our main uh, tool for leaf cleanup um, and mulching leaves. We were having car issues. I mean, it was just uh, a crazy time. So. Our garden is still a mess <laughs> in many ways. We also had a big windstorm, so some of our trellises, you can see, broke and were blown over. Um, we still have leftover uh, construction material from uh, rebuilding our porch overhang, so it's a bit of a mess, but that is okay because um, our gardens don't have to be perfect. Uh, gardens don't all have to look like they belong on the cover of a magazine, and you should not let that deter you from gardening and enjoying your garden because it, it, a messy garden is just as beautiful and beneficial as a pristine garden. Um, so I'm just going to take you around and talk a little bit about what I, things that I would have purposely left up and some of the plants I would have cut back but will leave until spring. Um, I can also talk a little bit about some things um, that would be left up for winter interest and um, just kind of generally gardening for wildlife because that is also something that's really important to me. Um, I try to plant a lot of native plants um, and leave quite a bit of leaves. I mean, you can see in this flower bed, I didn't clean any leaves out of it because uh, leaves are actually really important for beneficial insects and animals. Um, and soil health. Um, so we do leave quite a bit. Um, an example of a plant that I leave up typically are the black-eyed Susans. Um, the seed heads dry and this is a plant that um, birds typically like to graze on a bit. So I do leave the Black Eyed Susan's up. Um, I usually cut down flocks. I have a lot of flocks in the garden. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of volunteers in the spring because this went to seed and spread everywhere because I left it up. So I'm going to be trying to wrangle the flocks <laughs> in the spring. Um, an example of a plant that I typically leave up for winter interest is the Autumn Joy Sedum. And you can see why. We had a light dusting of snow the other day and these are such sturdy plants that they can really handle um, a lot of snow and ice and they just look so pretty with snow dusted on top of them. So I really like to leave the Autumn Joy Sedum. I just think they look so pretty. Another thing I would typically cut back is the native aster because it is very tall and tends to lean over so once this gets some snow on top of it, it's just going to collapse. Um, but that's okay, it is what it is. I might get to it at some point, otherwise if I don't, that's fine. I will cut it back in the spring. It's not going to hurt the plant. It will be just fine. Something else I do want to leave up this year are these um, bee balm plants. I think they look so pretty. They look like 
little pom-poms um, on the end of these really tall stalks. And I think these are gonna look really, really pretty with snow on them. I hope they're strong enough to stand up to some snow, so we'll have to see how it goes. But I just think that is so pretty. I love the, this is just such a good all season plant. They're gorgeous in the spring and summer. They're gorgeous in the fall and they look so cool in the winter. So that's one that I would have left up either way. Um, grasses, I typically leave, um, I'll show you my grasses on the other side too. I just typically leave these until spring. Um, and you can see my poor pond. This is one I'm kind of kicking myself because I intended to drain this, um, clean it out, and my water, my hardy water lily is still in there. Um, my intent was to take it out and try to overwinter it in my pantry. Um, so I just, I did, life happened and I didn't get to it. So um, hopefully this will not, I mean, this is a pretty thick feed um, container. So hopefully it will not crack with the thawing and freezing through the winter and I should just be able to empty it out. It, I guess it's kind of a good experiment. We'll see if my hardy water lily <laughs> um, is able to survive. I have a hunch it won't because they're not really supposed to freeze um, entirely. So I don't know, we'll see. You can see we leave most of our leaves um, in our flower beds. Again, uh, really important for pollinators. It's good for the environment. It's good for soil health because the leaves will break down and um, amend the soil. So we leave those. We do clear up most of the leaves on our lawn. We typically collect them and put them in our compost heap or we mulch them directly onto the lawn. Um, again, it's free fertilizer for your lawn. So we do try to tidy up the lawn a bit just because we live in the suburbs and you know, we're expected to have pristine lawns. <laughs> um, even though if we had it our way, we would just leave the leaves. Here's another bed um, full of leaves. That's fine. I will get them in the spring when things warm up. Um, typically I would cut back. This is another um, one of my golden rods. Um, normally I cut those back because they just tend to flop over. Um, I have some cone flowers in here that are another really great uh, food source for birds. You can kind of see. I think the birds have already been at these. Pause and I'm going to take you over to my front flower gardens. Okay, so here's one of my front flower beds full of leaves um, and they tend to really pile up over here because the wind um, blows in this direction from the west. Uh, so it's just kind of a battle trying to keep the leaves out of here anyway. Um, so I will leave those until to deal with them in the spring. Um, I have more cone flowers here. I 
that I leave up for the birds. And then this bed is usually uh, much more tidy. I mean, I usually completely cut back all of this catmint. Um, didn't get a chance to do that. We have some more cone flowers that I would just leave up. And then normally I would cut back. This is another type of aster. And I actually came and looked closer and noticed that the flowers just sort of, uh, when the plant went dormant, the flowers just kind of stayed. Um, so I think they actually look really pretty. They just sort of dried on the plant and that all of them didn't go to seed, I guess. But I think that looks so pretty. So we'll see how they hold up to snow. I would also typically cut back this goldenrod. Um, but this might actually look really nice with snow on it too, so we'll see when we get more how it holds up. Um, I do have a nice evergreen holly shrub back here, so we do get some greenery in the winter. And I have an Annabelle hydrangea back here that I always leave up until spring. It grows on new growth or it blooms on new growth um so i cut it back to the ground in the spring when i start to see um the buds swelling um just so that it has some extra protection uh through the winter i think i'm going to show you guys our vegetable garden because we also have not done any cleanup in the vegetable garden um, and we usually have this tidied up we've got uh, normally we have the compost on here already and it was just a really busy November so we didn't get to anything I mean this this garden is a mess we've got all of our tomato plants in here. Uh, we've got uh, cucumbers still up on the trellises. So we're actually gonna get to this today. We're gonna cut back all of the plant material. We're going to take, um, I need to get this mesh off before it snows too much more because I really don't want this to rip because the mesh is really helpful for keeping cabbage flies off of our um, brassicas. Um, so we need to get that tidied up and put away. Um, we need to cut back our asparagus patch. So there's quite a lot to do. Um, so we will get to that today, at least the vegetable garden today. Um, why am I showing you my messy garden? <laughs> um, really just, again, to remind you guys that you your garden does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be pristine. And... Uh, we're busy people and we don't always have time to garden uh especially garden full time so it's okay um don't let that you know intimidate you um into not gardening we have a couple of other flower beds here I usually leave up grasses as well just because they still look nice. Um, 
I just cut them back in the spring when I start to notice some new growth. And leaving things up can help insulate roots and protect the plant um, over winter anyway. This still looks really pretty. I'm also leaving up my spent sunflowers because these still have a ton of sunflower seeds on them, which the cardinals and other birds really love. So I'm going to leave that up just to encourage the wildlife and give them something to eat over winter. I really love this yellow twig dogwood in winter. I think it looks so pretty. It's almost like a lime green color. So that's pretty much what we have going on right now. Lots of cleanup to do. A lot of it I'm just gonna put off until spring. Um, we just wanna get the vegetable garden tidied up so that in the spring we can just uh, be ready to plant the vegetables. Um, I would like to do another video when we do have more snow just to show you what the garden looks like in the winter when there's snow um, and just see what potential there is for winter interest and what different plants look like in the winter with snow on them. Um, because, you know, the garden is something you can enjoy, enjoy all year round. It, it's not just a summer, spring, fall venture. Um, and it encourages you to get out in the winter and still enjoy nature and um, just benefit from that. So this is, <laughs> I think, where I will leave you because we are going to get to work on this vegetable garden. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below or let me know how your garden is doing. Um, is your garden as messy as my garden? <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of the day and get out into your garden and enjoy.